And now the old concepts of medium tank and heavy tank have merged into one, the main battle tank, the backbone of all modern armies. British Army's Challenger 2, and what a machine it is. 70 tons all up, heavier than a Tiger tank, and in the right hands with a top speed of 45 to 50 miles an hour, much faster than a T-34, Sherman or Panzer. It ticks all three boxes in what makes a tank great. Firepower, armor, and mobility. There's a 1,200 horsepower, 26-liter diesel engine in there, and the whole thing's covered in impregnable, top-secret armour. So, Dorchester composite armour all around me, and out front, a big gun. A very big gun. With a massive bore of 120 millimetres, it's 50% bigger than the gun on the King Tiger. Which brings me on to why these tanks are here. Throughout this film, we've talked about the firepower of tanks. We haven't actually fired a gun yet. That's all about to change, dear viewers, because this is a firing range. So there we are. We can see our main target area to the right of the wooded area. In the foreground, we've got some moving targets, which are big lumps on a rail, moving backwards and forwards, representing profiles of tanks and trucks. And in the background, you can just see there two static targets, which are old chieftain tanks filled with concrete that are sitting duck. There's another one. And yes, it looks like another direct hit. So, what are they firing? Well, here we have a Hesh round, high explosive squash head. Inside here we have plastic explosives. When the head impacts the side of the target tank, it squashes like a cow pat and explodes. The explosion sends shock waves through the armor of the target tank, blasting off a chunk of the inside of the tank like so. Now, one of these, or fragments thereof, pinging around the inside of a tank would make that tank a fairly unpleasant place to be. Moving on to the finned Sabo round. Inside this casing, we have this finned metal dart. No explosives, and it doesn't crumple on impact, which, even on this training round, is about 1,600 metres per second. The dart's doing several times the speed of sound when it leaves the barrel. It stays intact when it hits the target and can punch straight through one side of a tank and out the other. This is an example of a section of armour that was victim of one of these thin sabo rounds, it made quite a mess, could ruin your day. It's devastating firepower, day and night. The noise from those guns is impossible to describe. It's so loud you can actually feel the shock waves going right through your body. After being out here for 10 minutes, you feel like you've been beaten up. In an effort to show you just how powerful the shock waves are, I have here a pane of glass. Just watch what happens to it the next time one of these tanks fires. That is massive power. Armor, mobility, firepower. The Challenger 2's got the lot. 